Good morning my friends, Mr Max Bliss, 17th of May 2013 in France. As you can see, we've got these unusual linear clouds, typical of a geoengineering. Look around, this is uh, 7.25 in the morning, a nice big thick plume that we are now being asked to believe is a persistent contrail due to the extra air traffic that's in the air these days. Although where I live in France is in rural France, away from pollution, away from industry, because like many Western countries, most industry has been shut down and moved to Southeast Asia as part of the destabilization plan put in place by the controllers so that they can bring about swift change with their plans for United Nations Agenda 21. The plans for the United Nations Agenda 21 are so draconian and so far-reaching you need a population that has become dependent on the state through economic destabilisation in order to meet with less resistance from the population. So you can incrementally bring about these changes which are now happening quite rapidly such as losing your right to grow your own heirloom seeds. That is being proposed by the EU right now. The thousands of years tradition of using your own seeds to plant your own vegetables is being debated whether people are going to be legally entitled to do this practice. They want you to buy GMO seeds. Now we know one of the problems, one of the big issues about this covert geoengineering, chemtrailing, whatever type program this actually is, where we see these persistent trails and we see these, these uh, frequency signatures, we see these lines, we see these peculiar new cloud formations in the sky. Because having worked outside all my life, I certainly know that these are not normal. I've worked out my, outside for over 25 years and I know what normal clouds are. And we certainly didn't see all these, these things. These aren't undular bores. Undular bores are strips of clouds where you've got uh, hot air at, uh, in one part of the atmosphere and cold air in the other part of the atmosphere and they roll as they meet together and they cut the clouds up. This isn't like that. This isn't undular bore clouds, not at all. These are new types of clouds. And the reason we get these clouds is because there is Tesla technology employed in the upper atmosphere, vibrating the upper atmosphere and changing the particles that are in the atmosphere, you see. There are particles being sprayed into the atmosphere. How can I establish that? Well, that's quite easy, actually. I have personally taken rainwater samples and had the local laboratory analyse it for heavy metals, the metals which are reported to be used for geoengineering. Now the heavy metals such as aluminium, barium salts, strontium, cadmium, zinc, chromium, arsenic and many other ingredients, 40 plus ingredients, are proposed to be used in the Wellsback uh, patent for um, geoengineering. They have come back from the laboratory in excessively high amounts above normal. The normal amount for aluminium in the air is supposed to be 0.008 micrograms for aluminium in an urban industrialized area. But of course, we live in a rural area where the, all the uh, in industry has been um, eroded away, so we haven't got anything. Now, the amount here was 20 micrograms. Okay, so that's a lot more than 0 0.008. We have had colleagues take a sample in Holland, 
their sample came back 80 micrograms and it should be 0.008 and I had a colleague take a sample in southwest London of which of course I have a copy of that rain or water analysis that came back 740 micrograms per litre when it really shouldn't be in the atmosphere at all and the normal amount should be 0.008 so how do we get such a huge amount above normal and whilst I'm talking to you my friends you can see that those parallel lines the ribs the scalar waves in the atmosphere which we believe is a covert geoengineering program in action be it through the use of HARP or other Tesla technologies such as the Nexrad Doppler uh, radar system or these various other radio frequency towers from mobile phones, the next generation 4G mobile phones or, or whatever technology they've got with their various 30,000 plus satellites in orbit around the Earth. We can see that the clouds are changing and we can also see that there's been an effect, there's something been happening to the cloud formations whilst I've been talking to you. And we know that this is manipulation, this is scientific manipulation. I might not know all the details as if I was a scientist, but I can certainly record this time and time again because it's happening on a regular basis. And this is perfectly a great example to demonstrate we did not see this before. I, having worked outside all my life, I bloody well know what's normal in the skies. Working outside all my life as a builder, I was weather dependent. If it was going to rain, I was going home and I sure as heck know what's normal and what is bizarre. And this is bizarre and it's being normalised, it's being stonewalled by governments. They are, must be complicit. We see planes hot dogging it all over the place on unusual flight patterns. I've used Flight Radar 24 and found that they've been zigzagging. So the Civil Aviation Authority have to be complicit at some level. Some pilots must have come across unusual things and certainly must witness this strange new cloud formations on a more regular basis up in the sky. And they say nothing. The Met Office have to be 100% aware because they are being asked to introduce new types of cloud formations. NASA has released a new cloud sheet in 2010 with 30 different clouds on it. But if you go back to old sources, you will find much uh, less um, cloud formations because that was what we used to see. We didn't need to have the bizarre clouds explained to us because they weren't around. And um, we know that they have had these persistent contrails going all the way back to the Second World War as soon as they could fly the big planes. We also know that they've been doing experiments all the way back then as well. That's why when you see a lot of videos of old jets, which is quite nice to watch, you will find that none of them make contrails. They make the odd vapour trail, which is different, on the wingtips and stuff like that. But you may see, edited in, pictures of contrails. Persistent contrails. But you don't see them being made from the planes. But they're there already. Now we've read that also um, they, the planes would spray something called chaff, which was an anti-radar detection system. And then we also know that they even some, um, used to spray, have sprayed smoke screens in the 1930s with biplanes, for smoke curtains, for, play, for, for ships not to be able to be seen. We know that they, uh, they also sprayed, used to spray persistent contrails into the atmosphere to avoid being uh, seen by bombers, for, for bombers, so that anti-aircraft wouldn't see them. So there's all kinds of stuff being developed since the war for spraying into the atmosphere, apart from all of the uh, weather things which they used in Korea. They sprayed in Korea, in the Korean War. They sprayed in Vietnam, Operation Popeye. They learned how to steer hurricanes, um, Operation Storm Fury, Project Storm Fury. So we know that they've been messing around for a long, 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 long time. This is all real, my friends, and it's time to wake up, share these numerous ver verifiable facts, 
because many people are waking up and researching and coming up with legitimate facts. Stay away from stupid spin stories like uh, UFO and cloak devices and reptilians and Planet Nibiru and Planet X and all these different little sideshows to stop people uh, focusing in on the obvious and being legitimately concerned with facts because what they do is they add in these little stories to make us look ridiculous and to stop people focusing in because many people just go, ah, it's a load of nonsense. And you know, we have to avoid that. We have to focus in on what the obvious is, take your rainwater analysis and take lots of pictures and compare them to old pictures of the past. Compare your holiday pictures pre 1990s and you will see a huge difference in the skies. So please, Research the verifiable facts and learn to share this information with people. Overcome the ridicule you might face, overcome the cognitive dissonance, which means people live in denial, they're frightened to come to terms with the fact, the awful facts, that our governments have to be complicit in a huge covert program that's modifying the climate. Global warming is a hoax. Climate change is man-made, but not in an anthropogenic way. It's man-made because they're scientifically manipulating it. So please, learn to communicate actual facts. Learn to overcome the isms, the, uh, the layers and layers and layers of psychological obstacles that have been uh, layered into our psyche through generations through generations. They play upon weaknesses, it's called divide and rule. They want to stop, they don't like society all joining together, they destroy the unions, they've basically destroyed uh, bigger companies that could be a threat to the establishment. So they want them nice little companies, easy to manipulate and boss around and tell them what to do. We need to learn to talk to each other, to unite, to overcome our differences or to celebrate our differences. You know, it's wonderful the world is different. We don't want a monoculture, actually. No, we want lots of differences. We want people to be different. We enjoy differences. We enjoy different cultures. And we must come together to unite against the common enemy, which is corrupt government. The United Nations is a private organization set up by the bankers to create a one world government, a totalitarian system of tyranny throughout the planet. So please, please research the verifiable facts, share this knowledge, change the paradigm we're living in because we're moving swiftly into slavery using the United Nations Agenda 21, the EU bloc, the American bloc, the United Nations One World Government. They write policies and make laws and they don't even get voted in. We have to be aware of what, how our world works these days. And we must take responsibility for what's happening, choose self-determination, decide. Do you consent to tyranny and a totalitarian state? Or do you want freedom and a system of cooperation amongst your fellow man? Because this is what we're in jeopardy of losing. We are becoming victims, slaves of the bankers, of the globalists, of the oligarchs. And we must become aware of this and change this. Take care, my friends. It's time to take responsibility and do things. Talk to people, join groups, find out information, and just don't take it for granted that the government are gonna look after you because they're the ones that are allowing this to happen. Take care, my friends. Bye for now.